Alleged multi-state drug operation busted. It involves major cities, too, like Chicago, Detroit, even Columbus, and Marion, Ohio. It happened before dawn, and News 5 cameras were the only ones rolling at the time. News 5's Tracy Carlos shows us the steps to make streets safer. In the small town of Marion, there has been a big spike in crime. This morning, police believe they took a step towards slowing it. Exit the front door onto the porch with your hands up. An early morning visit from FBI. Open the front door and exit this is the FBI. U.S. Marshals and DEA agents armed with federal arrest warrants hit the streets of Marion County looking. I see you in the window. Walk to the front door. For those allegedly involved in drug trafficking organizations. By the time the sun came up, more than 100 federal, state, and local law enforcement officers had been crisscrossing the area for hours looking for suspects. This man, who did not want his face shown for fear of retaliation, has seen that rise in crime on his street. Break-ins, cars, you know, our lady, our friend across the street, her window, car window's been broken in like three or four times. Lady across the street, her garage has been broken into. This morning, a house on his street surrounded by police. The three-year operation netted heroin, fentanyl, cocaine, meth, prescription pills and marijuana, cash and guns as well and 43 people are now in federal custody. I'm considered to be a very significant amount of people uh, for a town uh, the size of Marion. The sheriff and police chief say cuts in staff are one reason for the spike in crime. The other? No doubt about it, the history that we've had here judicially has led to uh, the amount of drug traffickers we have in our town. While this investigation is over, a warning from the feds. For those folks that maybe weren't part of today's arrest, uh, you have a couple of choices. You can either give up the game or you can stay in it and wait your turn. In Marion County, Tracy Carlos, News 5.